Shabbat Shalom, and welcome to 5 Minutes of Torah with a BI Rabbi. The last time I spoke to you was from here at Camp Solomon Schechter as I just arrived along with Rabbi David Blumen. Tomorrow I leave for Pittsburgh to return next week to Vancouver. And I wanted to share with you a, a couple words of, of what was truly a wonderful time that I've had at Camp Schechter, both doing my own study, some teaching, and, and enjoying the time being with my family. I've had a, an incredible time here at Schechter, especially watching as the camp does a fantastic job of informal Jewish education, bringing a strong Jewish identity to the children who participate as campers and even to the staff here. One of the most amazing things, though, of this summer was a particular event that I never anticipated. But quite frankly, the camp also never anticipated. Unfortunately, just a day before a, another Jewish camp in the area, known as Sephardi Adventure Camp, was about to begin their camping session, a forest fire reached within just a couple of kilometers of their campsite and was forced to abandon that campsite. That particular camp, Sephardi Adventure Camp, looked for a new home and eventually, within just a couple days, was able to find a new home here at Camp Solomon Schechter. For over the last week, Sparty Adventure Camp, which is an Orthodox camp based out of Seattle, has joined together on this particular campsite with Camp Solomon Schechter in one particular, one particular site. While the two camps have operated separately as two separate institutions, especially considering the differences in ages and the differences in, in theology, we have shared space very beautifully, I must say and quite frankly, have been an example, not only to the children and to the staff members of each camp, but to the entire Jewish people. This coming week, we read Parshat Devarim, the first Torah portion in the last book of the Torah. Moses is giving his valedictory, his final speech to the Jewish people before he is about to pass away and before the Israelites are going to enter into the land of Israel. The text begins by saying, Deber Moshe al kol Yisrael, that Moses spoke to the entirety of Israel, to all of Israel. Kol Yisrael, this is a bit of odd language for the Torah. And the rabbis try to understand what it means. Many of the rabbis suggest that the Kol Yisrael implies that here Moses is giving kochacha, he's giving rebuke to the Israelites, and therefore the language is different from what it normally is. But rather, Yakut Ruveni says that it's something different, a little bit in fact, a lot more positive. It says, That is that Moses was speaking and his voice reached the entire, the entire camp of Israel. Moses' voice reached the entire camp of Israel and therefore it penetrated into the hearts and into the minds of all of Israel. The Israelites were together in one camp as one people, as brothers and sisters. And therefore, they were able together to receive the teaching of Moses. I believe that when we stand together as a Jewish people, we not only receive the teaching of Moses together, but we understand what it truly means. The voice of Moses, the voice of God, reaches all of us. I am so happy that I've had this opportunity to see such a wonderful example for the Jewish people that we, as one nation, can join together as one people be together in one camp, working together and providing and teaching our children the tradition and history of our people. Shabbat Shalom. I look forward to seeing you when I return to Vancouver.